So you can see that we have the image roughed out, but what I want to do here is let's do some initial cleanup. I also want to save a copy of this file, a new copy. This is because if you ever want to go back to an earlier stage of your design, let's say you mess something up and you want to go back to an earlier version, you'll have it. So this is, I just call this Bronco Working 5 and I'll hit OK. So the next thing I want to do is let's take all these black and white layers and highlight them and go to layer merge layers. That'll flatten all that into one piece. And now we have the black and white image and we have a bottom and top copy of the original image. Let's drag one of those photograph, original photograph images to the top here. We can turn the opacity down a little bit. That'll allow us to kind of see both of these layers at the same time. And I'm going to turn that off for now. And let's go in here and make a new layer on top of our black and white layer. And we're going to just be working with black and white here. And if your image has some really rough areas, you can go in there and I'm just going to use the hard round brush here and just paint black into some of these really obvious areas that we're not going to need. So just go around your image. If there's any really obvious stuff that you could just do with your mouse really quick. Go ahead and do that. The next thing I'm going to do is use the polygonal lasso tool and this will allow us to make nice clean selections. And I'll, I'll do one here for you really quick and then I'm just going to speed everything up so you don't have to watch me do this a million times. But I've got this selection here and we can just shift F5, fill that with black. And then we can also select inverse and go in there and paint white. And you can toggle your foreground and background colors just by hitting the X key. So I've inverted that selection that I made. And now I can just paint white to clean up the outside of that selection. So if I hide that selection, you can see I'm just cleaning up that line right there. So there's lots of areas we can do this in this Bronco. And I'm just going to go in there and make selections and clean this all up. You do want to leave a little bit of texture, a little bit of imperfection from your photo in the design. Otherwise, it might start to look a little too clean and, and flat and boring. For instance, you know, I think these tires and wheels look really good, so I'm not going to mess with those. I think some of the drop shadow on the ground here has some nice texture. I think some of the drop shadow, like the drop shadow under this license plate looks really good. So I'm going to leave that. But I do want to go and clean up this reflection line in the side of the Bronco. There's some nice cut lines, like the cut line for this door. I'm going to leave that in there. These hinges look good, so I'm going to leave those in there. I may clean up this roof line a little bit, but we're not going to do any of that with the polygonal lasso tool. So let's leave this for here for now and then go in with some other methods to further refine this Bronco.